Welcome back to you, Blueberry Pie. Ask yourself this question. Are you the sucker at the table? Are you being manipulated to buy the tops? We are going to go through this now because most people will get it wrong again in the next cycle top. They're not going to be happy with their portfolios just like every other cycle that's come before us. So there are two type of people in this world. One, soy drinkers that whinge. They have hunched backs. They wear crumpled slippers. We are not those types of people. The next type of people are us, protein drinkers. We hodl or we keep buying in my yellow box of friendship. That's what I've been doing. Which one are you? You've got to ask yourself, which one are you? If you like, subscribe, press the bell button, or you already know which one you are. I appreciate every single one of you. Okay, I just have the pictures here. Pulse, PulseX, Hex, Link, PHEX, EHEX, I don't care. Get your favorite crypto. I'm just showing you. These are weekly charts, long-term frame. I copped so much abuse. Wow, infinite abuse because I refuse to give up. No, you will not be able to silence people with a vision, with a goal, who are going to make it to the end. If you are here, you are going to make it. You are holding, you are going where the people are afraid to go, which is the yellow box here, the cheap prices. I know it's funny. It's true. Everybody's scared. Accumulating, chaining, and holding. Accumulating, EHEX, PHEX, holding. Everyone says it's gone to zero. Accumulating, pulse, or holding it. Accumulating, this is now PHEX as well. And there's pulse X. I couldn't fit it on here. So you've got to ask yourself, are you the sucker at the table? The sucker at the table is buying here. Okay. What is... The sucker at the table. No, the sucker at the table is not buying here, friends. Okay? The sucker at the table is maybe sitting on their hands saying, whatever target we think is coming, it's too low. We're going to go 10x higher than that. That's the sucker because what they're doing is they are complacent. They think the market will respect whatever portfolio number they want, but they're going to be in for a rude awakening. So you're going to ask yourself, how did people in the past get it wrong? They get it wrong every cycle. Why? And it's because they're not bullish enough in the depression zone. That's why. They are not aggressive enough in the depression zone. Because when the bull market euphoria comes, their portfolio is not high enough. That's why they don't get out. So I'd like to ask you something. How do we make money at the tops? How do we actually make money? I'm going to tell you the answer right now. So I'm going to give you an example of Bitcoin. We're going to use other examples here, okay? So you can use Wall Street, the insiders, the evil ones, the evil influencers. It doesn't even matter, okay? The winners. This is all of them, all in one encompassing, okay? They are all one. The winners, all of these people, okay? They have to convince the sucker as exit liquidity, that they can make a quick 2x to 3x. You see this? This is going to answer everything you need to know about speculation and markets. This has been going on 1870s, 1890s, Great Depression. Go and read the journals of all the greatest stock market and traders, okay? All those stock market investors, all the traders, you will find the same conclusion. And it happens here in crypto today. Humans, basic humans, weak hands, we think in a double, right? Even most of the most basic casino games about doubling, okay? You think about blackjack and basic card games, right? A double or a triple, we, we, can, we can put those in our mind as linear rewards, right? We can say, oh, a 2x or a 3x, everybody's used to that. It's no coincidence that when it comes to markets, the marketing at the tops is always a target such that it convinced the weak hands that they should get in and buy these tops because they have a quick 2x to 3x left before it all collapses. This is the people being used for exit liquidity. Precisely, we're going to go through a few examples. Who were the people buying Bitcoin at 50k? They were being manipulated by the messaging that Bitcoin's definitely going to 100, okay? People definitely definitely expecting 100k. So you're buying at 50k thinking it's going to 100. You think you're going to get a quick double. You're buying at 50, you're selling at 100, you get a quick 2x, you're out. Do you see this? This is really important because this will explain so much price action from many other coins. So 
Here is Cardano, Charles Hoskinson coin. I remember this clearly. Cardano peaked at $3. There was a survey. It was done. I think it was shown around the altcoin daily videos. They were talking about Cardano and their up updates. And it was mentioned on BitBoy channel as well. They were just showing how a record number of college students in America were Googling how can Cardano get to $8 to $10. I'm not joking. This was like some phenomena. I can't remember specifically, but this was exactly what they were looking at. And this is how I knew, uh-oh, it's over. It's literally over. This is how I knew it. When I came across this information, I knew it. And by the way, I bought it like somewhere here. And then I knew at this top, okay, it's over. Missed the top, but these people were Googling it. That's it. So when you're looking at this, you got to think about who's buying $3 Cardano? When I saw this survey, I'm glad I can see it here for show it here for you, right? So it's $8 to $10. Think about the people buying at $3, right? What are they expecting? Here you go, just another 2 to 3x. There's a 3x here, and there's a 2x there. Do you see? People buying up that top, they're expecting just another 2 to 3x. This is also seen in many other examples too. Have you heard of a coin called XRP in 2017? XRP peaked at $3. You're probably going to notice a pattern here. You go, wait a minute, $3? Another two to three X is going to get you around eight to 10 bucks. People want to sell around the $10 zone, the nice round number. Not a coincidence. In Bitcoin, everybody was looking at 100K round number. It stopped at 50 to 60K. In, eight, in Cardano, we just saw everyone was looking at eight to 10 bucks. It stopped at $3. XRP, everyone was looking at eight to $10. It stopped at $3. This is not a coincidence. This is absolutely not a coincidence. Everything I've been telling you is 100% true. I know this. I'm here giving you high value content. This is why you like, subscribe, share with your family and friends. So I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you become smarter, wiser, friendlier, kinder. So what does the future hold with the next Bitcoin target? Because it, it is interesting to think about. With Bitcoin, all right, we, we already got scammed trying to go for 100K. Can it happen again? Well, I don't know, right? Is the target going to go higher, you know? Is there going to be some strong meme that gets everybody to dream of 300K or 500K, which is the gold flipping? Is everybody going to be dreaming about a gold flipping? And then we get out at 150K? That would be the dream scenario. If they can actually meme a gold flipping, and so Bitcoin can go to that 150 to 200, everybody thinks they're going to get another 2X from here, but that's actually the top. But hey, 190 to 200K would be phenomenal. Can they meme that number? We don't know. Maybe the round number of 100K is just simply too strong. It's the same thing with Ethereum. Isn't it fascinating? In the previous bull market top, Ethereum stopped at 4 to 5K. Isn't it funny? Everybody was talking about Ethereum to 10K. You can go back, look at just the thumbnails of many of the most popular crypto influencers. They were all saying Ethereum 10K, Ethereum 10K. Look where we stopped at 4 to 5K. Everybody was in it for just another 2 to 3x, another 2x to 3x. It's fascinating how often that is. So you're probably wondering, can we get more competitive edge from this? Yes, we can. Yes, we can, as long as you're wearing your fluffy slippers. And of course, you remain my friend and a baby doll. So I'm going to give you an example. If you have a coin and you know many people are expecting 100x, I'm going to now write it down for you so you don't forget. If if everyone on average, so on average, expects 100x, okay, there is nobody who's going to buy at 90x, 80x, 70x, 60x. Do you see? The sucker, the exit liquidity will not buy at 90, 80, 70, 60. There's not enough juice left for them. They will only buy at 90x if they think it's going to go to 3 to 400x. But the crowd expects 100. So what does this mean? It means that if you see the crowd expecting 100x, your highest probability of where the runners will buy out is 30 to 50x. And that's just not me saying it. I'm, I'm giving you, I've shown you all the evidence. I've sit, he sat here time and time again. You can learn this the easy way or the hard way. So this is what actually happens. This is how markets, and of course, you probably hope your mind is expanding here. You get to see this is how people get used and abused. You're buying for a quick two to three X and everyone gets their trust abused. So if someone has 
a 100x target somewhere, okay, 100x, and you're down here, right, you should be thinking about, so if halfway is here and minus 65% is here, that's where your targets actually are. You are thinking down in this zone, okay? Everybody is thinking up in this zone, right? So that's why I started this video to tell you, chaining, hex, pulse, pulse X. Everyone expects a big bull market, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Everyone expects us to charge to the moon, and I hope we do charge to the moon. But you don't know exactly where we're going to land. I can just tell you everyone's going to get destroyed. <laughs> you know that. That's all you can do. You don't know where we're going to land. You just know the majority of the crowd will get it wrong. So you got to think how you got to think like an evil dictator, a predator. This is how you make it in this game. This is the only way for you to make it. You have to think like them, man. If you don't think like them, you are the food. You are the person opening up your wallet who's going to get destroyed. Does this make now sense to you? This this is why I always keep saying keep buying. That's why I make posts like this, okay? Are you hodling or you keep buying? Can you add to your position? Can you get a second job? Ask for more hours. Can you raise liquidity? Sell one of your slippers. Sell a squeaky chair or two. Can you do that? Because the person who is thinking about that nice, clean, round number, unfortunately, what they don't know is everybody else is thinking about that too. So who actually wins? It's the person who goes, you know what? I had $3,000 in, for example, but now I've learned something from my friend Somi. I'm going to go harder. I'm now still in the yellow box of friendship and I'm going to actually increase my position from 3K to 10K. I'm going to triple it because i got a feeling we're going to stop a third of the way, right? Now, obviously, I hope we don't stop a third of the way. I hope for some reason euphoria goes higher, but if we do stop a third of the way and the suckers are getting in because they think they're going to get one more two to three X, aren't you glad you had a friend who told you this while you still had a chance to buy cheap prices. Tell mom and dad we're still going to make it. We are not going to be exit liquidity. We're going to be the one coming out ahead at the end. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, bell button, Norman. Catch you in the next one.